finally here, if you need to buy or sell Foot23 coins, then go and check out u7buystore.com. Their link is down in the description. Use code CAPGUN to get yourself a discount. You're right, guys, it's CapGun Tom here, and welcome back to another episode of Team Takedown. I want to start off by saying thank you so much for all the support you gave me on the first episode of Team Takedown and FIFA Bingo. I'm glad that you're enjoying the content. So after looking at the comment section yesterday, it seems that you guys want a small rule change. So we're going to trial it today and see if it works before we can move a player to any of their preferred positions. Now you're only allowed to play a player in their preferred position if it's one forwards or one back in the team. So for example, a CM could go to CDM or CAM if they have that as one of their preferred positions, but they couldn't go to left mid, they couldn't go to striker if that's an option. Same with on the wings, they can't go from right mid to left mid or left wing to right wing. That's just not in the equation anymore. So we'll see how that works out. The other thing that a lot of people asked for was to use FIFA 22 chemistry links in FIFA 23. We're not going to do that. As the game evolves, we need to evolve with it. Obviously, I loved how Team Takedown worked before, but as a creator, I need to be able to bring new players of FIFA 23 who potentially haven't played FIFA 22 into our community. Otherwise, it's just going to eventually mean my channel dies out. And if I do allow FIFA 22 chemistry links, those people are going to be completely alienated and never watch any of the videos. So unfortunately, it's just got to be this way. But to make Team Takedown as exciting as possible, we have gone away and got the biggest Team of the Week player. It's none other than Inform Salah. We've even got an opponent who supports Liverpool. No, it's not Werner. It's Jack. Hello, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Um, mate, this card looks pretty nice. I mean, it's uh, he's obviously performed for Egypt to get this because it was an mm -hmm. international break. Uh, so hopefully mm -hmm. you can carry that over, mate, into Liverpool's game this weekend, which uh, I'm nervous about. But yeah, mate, good to be back on Team Takedown for FIFA 23. I'm excited. I like the new rules. I think um, it's got a good basis for later in the year for when obviously you add all your are, we, are you still doing the wheel or is the wheel just being taken the away wheel, the wheel the wheel has been taken away for the start yeah. um it's not to say it won't come back because it probably will yeah as will potentially safety a lot of people came up with ideas for safety mm -hmm. we're going to bring those sorts of things in piece by piece guys just to make sure that they do work and that the format yeah. works so that we we don't want to put like everything in we don't want all the variables you know, we need a controlled, if you if you, if you do your science lessons, we need a controlled environment <laughs> for the series. So we don't want to add all these variables in straight away. But I did really like the idea that a lot of people came up with for safety, which is kind of like a block. So effectively, mm -hmm. instead of, you know, the person not having a chance to ask questions, all you do is block the reveal of that player that's in that position. So that's potentially something that we can look at down the line. In fact, I'm almost certain I'll be doing it at some point. Anyway, Jack. Mohamed Salah looks really good. Um, how are you feeling? Just a little little deviation here. How are you feeling about seven-minute squads? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, obviously, the chemistry side of things has made a bit of a... Well, it's, it's completely changed. Nothing like we've ever seen in FIFA before. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a head-scratcher. It will be sorted. Uh, I think it's actually going to be a bit of a blessing in disguise because there's no matter what, I'm going to have to simplify the series, which I think a lot of people will enjoy. And I think it will probably bring back the, the best kind of vibes to it um, once again. So, yeah, I don't think there should be any confusion about rules going forward with that series, but I'm not going to rush into anything. Just going to kind of see how every, everyone else is doing and then just slowly bring it out probably in a couple of weeks or so i think fair enough give it a chance find out what's going on with the game because yeah. i honestly guys i couldn't tell you how chemistry works i know you need to get players <laughs> from the same team league nation but i couldn't tell you off the same top of my head how it works yeah. so uh yeah this is gonna be an interesting one we've obviously got an egyptian in the prem um so it's gonna be well interesting to see if we can get chemistry on him um, of course, we do need a formation, Jack. Salah can play a right mid or right wing. Um, and mm -hmm. that's another thing, guys. If the marquee player, he can play wherever his preferred position is because we'll know where he is. Um, mm -hmm. It's only for the guessing that we need to know anything else. Um, I have picked a formation, mate. Uh, would you like okay. to ask me a question or have a straight up guess on this one? Um, I will go for a straight up guess. I'm going to say... Have you got the 4-4-2? I haven't, no. I've got 4-1-2-1-2 wide. Oh, okay. Very nice, yeah. mate. Bit of a vibe. We like it. Um, for you, mate, I think you're going to want to try and play Salah 
up top, um, obviously the 4-3-2-1 has now changed guys, so it doesn't have a right and left forward. In fact, they don't exist in this game at all. Instead, that formation now has two centre forwards, um, which is really cool. I like that a lot. Um, but I will say, do you have the Jack Classic, the 4-3-3 third? I do not, mate. Uh, I would have guessed your formation uh, if I had some bottle and if I wasn't picking the 4-1-2-1-2 two two wide as well. Oh, um, you've gone the same. Yeah, I mean, I, I did I choose that formation before you had said yours for everyone. So you will have seen me change it. Uh, but yeah, this is a very nice formation, mate, this year, actually. It is. Well, I haven't tried it yet. I'm still working my way. <laughs> haven't, won it, haven't found a formation that I can win with yet. So maybe this is the one. Who knows? Do you know what Who I'm actually surprised at? Yeah, I'm surprised me. that Salah doesn't have a striker position. Yeah, in his... I'm surprised by that. But maybe that's giving the viewers too much. I mean, the the FIFA 23 community too much. Maybe that will too come soon, yeah. with a position change card. You never yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I mean, we've already seen Kai Havertz be moved from like a cam to effectively get himself a striker spot. And I yeah. don't believe that Havertz's regular card can play as a centre mid. Or It'll sorry, probably be centre forward. He will go to yeah, yeah, his yeah, he can go. Oh, I know. Actually, I'm wrong. He can play. He can play cam, centre forward, and striker. On his just regular card. Fair interesting. Enough. I did not realise that at all. Very, very interesting. Oh, okay. Well, maybe EA are going to stick to their guns and just keep players in their, their position. I don't know. But anyway, mm -hmm. what we'll do, guys, is we'll go away and build two squads. If you want to see the teams we're about to build, keep on watching. But if you don't want to see them, and just to remind you, we do need to build a two-league minimum and two-nation hybrid. Um, if you want to see the teams, keep on watching. But if you don't want to see them, now's the time to look away and wait for me to say look back. So look away. All right, guys, there are two teams on the screen that me and Jack want to use in the upcoming game. It's our opportunity to basically try and spoil their day by trying to remove as many players as possible. Let's go get into some guessing. And if you were looking away, return those eyes to the screen because we're ready to get into it. Jack, um, basically nothing has changed in Team Takedown. The only big difference is that now the player gets revealed each time, even mm. if you don't get who it is. So, uh, do you want to pick a position and start asking some questions? Yes. Um, I'm going to go for... I mean, the, fil the, fil the first hit is going to be one to just get the... I mean, you can probably get a lot of information from the first round, can't you? Especially if you don't hit a Liverpool player or a Prem player. So, um, I'm going to go for left centre-back. Okay. And I'm going to say... Does this player play in the Prem? Uh, yes, he does. Okay. Does this player play for Liverpool? He doesn't, no. Okay. Interesting. So, Premier League player, doesn't play for Liverpool. I'm going to say, try and be a little bit smart about this. Have you got Ruben Diaz? I haven't, no. Okay. Right. I'm going to go... Do I get to find out who it is. Oh, you do? Yeah, of course you do. Sorry. Agued from West Ham. He's a Moroccan centre-back. How do I spell this? A-G-U-E-R-D. Agued. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, nice. You might want to pop him on your screen as well so everyone else can follow along as well. Um, yeah. Because obviously you can't see footbin, guys. And that is one of the things with testing out whether we want to go to um, just moving the players one position backwards and forwards. Even if we do that, we still have to go on footbin to potentially see the chemistry and how it works because on this, it doesn't give you the chemistry unless they're in the right position, uh, which is a big, uh, I think, fault of this new system that you have come up with because concept squads don't really help you. You have to buy the player and then can, can concept them in. I know that you can get the little yellow dots on the side to show you as well when they're not in the right position, but Still, it's not it's not brilliant. Um right, okay. I think I'll go for your CDM, I think. Okay. I'm gonna throw it out there and just say, is this player from Liverpool? No. Right, okay. Um Do I want to uh, I mean I doubt he's Egyptian. Let me have a look and see if there's any Egyptian players uh in the game. That are even worth thinking about. So I have seen people go already with some pretty outrageous hybrids. Um, I won't find Egypt in H to L, will I? Good, good lettering, Tom. <laughs> um, you got El Neni, I guess. Mm, and Hamed. That's actually will a perfect I? link. Hagasi, Hamed. 
Oh, don't do that. I mean, you are Jack 54, so yeah, potentially you would. Um, I don't think there's any heroes that can play that spot either. Let me just have a quick look. Because really, what I don't want to miss is an opportunity to get your a strong link or like one of the important dots of chemistry. I don't think you're going to have enough for Yard Yard Tori. I'm, going to just, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it now. I just don't think you've got enough. So we'll rule him out. Um, and I will say, is this player from either City or United? No. Okay, I will say if you got just in case. Have you got El Nenny? No. Okay. Who do you All have? All right. Jack? Um, I have Kamara. Kamara. Is that the one from West Aston Villa? Ham. Uh, no, Aston Villa. Yes. Villa. Right. Okay. Interesting. Um, I'm going to go for your right back. I am going to ask. Are they Moroccan? Unfortunately for me, Jack, yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> um, do they play for PSG? They do, yeah. Okay. Hakimi, mate. It is Hakimi. Well him. done, mate. Get him out of there. Get See, this him. is the thing, though. This, there, there is okay, ample there. opportunities. Like, there could, I could have gone for your goalkeeper. It could have been Bunu. There's, you know, when you get, like, an obscure nation like that, I think yeah. that was a. Uh, if you've got, if say you had like a Brazilian left centre back from the Prem, yeah, there's so many options, isn't there? <laughs> but when you do get lucky on a obscure nation, not on obscure nation, but a niche nation on this game, then uh, yeah, you can take Patron. down the team. You live by the hybrid, you die by the hybrid, as they say. Exactly. It's, uh, they, they just say that, I say that. That is a new saying, guys, remember that. I've been watching a lot of Game of Thrones. I've literally started re-watching Series 1, so... I'm feeling good right now. Um, right, okay. I'm gonna go for a bit of... I'm gonna go for your CDM, mate. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go for CDM. And I'm gonna say... Uh, do they play in the League Earn? They do not, mate, no. Okay. Do they play in the Prem? No, they don't. That's a three league are on the on, on the firm. Here we go. Hey listen. Um, hybrid builder Tom. <laughs> I mean it's a full on random guess now, isn't it? Um Let's go for someone that could be easy to get some kind of link. Mm -hmm. We shall go for a bit of Goretzka. I don't know. Okay. Don't know really what to do, to be honest. <laughs> uh, who do you have? I have Sergio Busquets. Oh. Ooh. Interesting. Um. I think I'm going to have a little bit of a look at your right centre-back, mate. Okay. Say, so, is he French? Yes. Okay. Is he from the Premier League? Yes. Okay. In that case, I'm going to say, do you have Canate? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. No, Tom. No, Tom. No, 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 no. That wasn't All supposed right. to happen. I wonder if I went your left centre back, you're going to have Diego Carlos there. Good chance. Very good chance. I mean, you might have Dinier at left back, but who knows? Who, who knows? Who knows? Who knows, Thomas? The thing is that I haven't found any of your other league. If you've gone, well, you've obviously had to build another league at some point, um, but I just haven't found Not it necessarily. yet. No. I'll go left centre back. Oh, I see. Right, right, yeah. Okay. No, I haven't had anything revealed. I thought he was implying I built a three league. No, no, no. no. Um, I'll go left centre back. Okay. And say, is he from the Premier League? Um, no. Okay. Is he French? Yes. Okay. Who do I think you might be using? Kunde, Varane, Hernandez, Kimpembe. Can't be Varane. Kunde, Hernandez, Kimpembe. It's basically a case of which one I think is the most affordable that I don't want to play against. 
Um, we've got Kim Pembe coming in at fifty thousand. Yeeha! That's expensive. Fernandez coming in at six thousand four hundred. That's a bit more affordable. And then Kunde, I'm guessing, is rather expensive as well. Yes, seventy-one. I'm gonna say we've got Hernandez. No. Haven't. Wow, Jack's bowler, mate. Who do you I have, Jack? I have got Kalulu. Oh, he's on the next page. Silly Billy me. Well, that man does have a lot of perfect links. I mean, Inform Shiru is looming, isn't he? Mm, there's a few perfect links, my friend. There is a few perfect about, links. About what round are we on? Uh, this is... Uh, let me just check. Uh, this is round number seven, my friend. Goes a bit quicker, doesn't it? Actually. It does, yeah. I mean, without the safety. Like, yeah. That slows it down a lot. Um, I will say I will go for your right striker. Okay. Do they play for Barcelona? Oh, it's a dagger through the heart, mate. Yeah, they do. Interesting. Interesting. Are they Dutch? No. Is it Lewandowski? Of course it is, yeah. It's actually a shame, mate, for you because my logic was uh, not on that line of inquiry. Um, I've just stumbled upon that, which is very nice. So, is this round of number eight, nine? It is, yeah, eight. Okay. Still yet to find a Liverpool player, which, you know, I'm starting to think they're going missing, to be honest with you. Um, let's go Prem and just search and see what positions Liverpool players can come up in. I would imagine they've probably got a position, a player for every position in the team. That's how football well, works. Well, I mate. don't think there's a cam. Liverpool don't have a cam. No, Liverpool don't have a cam, mate. So okay. you know, this is where they do. They've got Fabio, Carvalho, and Elliot, but I don't think you're using silvers, mate. So I think we can actually write off that position, which I'm actually quite quite proud of myself for finding out. <laughs> Because now we have a one in five chance. In fact, we've got a bit more of a one in five chance because you know these do need to be prem players. So we probably have like a 30, 40 percent chance. What are you talking I'm about? I'm gonna. Fabio Carvalho and Elliot, get him in there. I'm going to say. I'm gonna go left back, mate. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna say, does this player play for Liverpool? No. Do they play in the Prem? No. Okay, it's fine. Banat. Don't have Banat, no. Right, okay. That leaves me with round number nine. If I can get one of your players here, then I will get the last round as well. I will go for your goalkeeper, Jack. Okay. Is he from Serie A? Yes. Okay, that's a good start. We all know who I'm thinking of, guys. His name alliterates. You'd be sending it back in the celebrity name game. You ever played the celebrity name game, Jack? I've not. What, the one where they're like, uh, you go, someone says like, Gwyneth Paltrow, and then the next person has to say a celebrity beginning with P. Like, no. Penelope Cruz, and then the next person has to do a C. And then when you get a one that alliterates, it goes back the other way around the circle. No. no, just me. Just me. Wild Knights yeah, in with you, me. Um, <laughs> right, okay. I'm going to say, is your player either Chesney or Handanovic? No. Is it Mike Minan? Yeah. Yes. Let's go, Suey. Uh, right, okay. Last round does <laughs> go to me. <laughs> <laughs> Should have put a flipping Tata Rosano in, mate. For <laughs> sake. Um, I'm still tempted to think that you might have Oliver Giroud in your squad somewhere. I know that you were struggling. To be honest, guys, we were really struggling to... Like, the build time, it's would you believe it? takes it, a lot, yeah. It's, it's gone up. Like, it's gone up. It's almost double what the time we were spending. Before, it was, like, taking 10, 12 minutes to make a team, and now it's taking, like, 24, 30. It's actually mm -hmm. ridiculous. Um, so I won't go for Cam, because Jack's done some hard research there, and I know that he can't get a, a Liverpool player there. So I'm just kind of like thinking, is there any nation that AC Milan have that would allow you to then link to someone in the Prem? Like, for example, left mid Liao and then striker, um, what's his face, potentially, uh, Jota. 
Yeah, I'll go Liao. I'll go left mid, mate. This player from Serie A. Yes. Play for AC Milan. No. Okay. Interesting. Could be realistically, there's Kostic. He's like one of the only good ones that can play there. I mean, there is Lozano, but then you probably end up needing to play someone like um, Raúl Jiménez or something. Rebic. There's not really that many. It's literally like I'm down to three. I think just because, although there is a French cam that can play for Napoli, I have to say we've got Lozano. Nope. Oh, well played. Fair enough. Who did you have there? Kostic. Ah, oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh. Right. All right, mate. Oh, I imagine that there's probably French players. I, I don't know if Paul Pogba can play cam, but he might be able to. But maybe, maybe that's not it at all. Anyway, I'm running through my team. I thought as soon as I had to reveal a guard, I thought that it could be a lot worse. Um, obviously, you went, you beeline straight to Hakimi, got him. Um, what I did was I had Jordi Alba at left back. Perfect link to uh, Busquets oh. and obviously gives uh, Lewandowski that link. Uh, when I buy Jota, guys, everyone will go on to Ken. It's just because he's not providing any Ken links at the moment. Uh, we have none other than Freddy Lundberg at left mid. Um, we had to go with non-rare PSG uh, Portuguese player Vitinha. Yeah, nice. I didn't Cam. really go for him. No, and then we've got Jota at left striker and Sergio Ramos at right centre-back. And then in goal, to get that poor, uh, Polish link to Lewandowski, we've got none other than Mr. Fabianski. Oh, nice. Fair play. Fair play. Um, obviously, I've got my nan in goal. Uh, two centre-backs, Kanate and Kalulu. Right back, Trent. Left back, uh, Mendy. CDM, Kamara. Left mid, Kostic. Right mid, Salah. Cam, Felipe Coutinho. And up top, Vlahovic and Benzema. Oh, is there a perfect link, Vlahovic? And yeah, it's perfect. Uh, yeah. Didn't realise he'd gone to Juve. To be fair, so yeah, I um I won't lie, guys. The new chemistry street, uh, system is super restrictive. So I'm almost tempted to say that we go back to letting players play in any of their preferred positions because I found some real issues with like playing like like camp, like certain players that you would think should be able to play like other positions just can't. Like Jorginho, he can't play CDM. Yeah. Like, Do you know what? it's 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 um allowing players to play in any position that they can get into. It's not difficult to search and see. You just go left on the tab, don't you? And then you can see they play for Cam, left mid, or whatever centre forward. I think the main complaint was that effectively people were having to do stuff on footpin, which obviously we would prefer to be able to do it on the console so you guys can see it. Mm. But if people are having to do stuff on footbin anyway, we might as well let the positions kind of stay the same. Like, you can use any position player in any... Because you saw there, I went for Serie A left mids, and there was four usable ones. Um, I personally think they will add a toggle for concept players. You think? Yeah, I think so. I mean, so. it's EA, Because so if, if someone's will. not aware of, like, footbin or something... Yeah. Like... How it's going to be really complicated for them to build a team, isn't it? It is. I mean, how would just, you a... how would you know that that's going to get? I mean, you would by adding it all up, but it's rather complicated and it's a ball ache essentially. So I think they'll add a I think they'll add uh, a toggle for positions to draft and I think concepts. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think what we're going to do, guys, just an executive decision here. We're going to go back to letting players play in any of their preferred positions um, for the series. Um, yeah. And then, and then if we if we're in like a week's time or something, we're not guessing any players. Then we'll potentially review it and go back to something like this. But I just wanted to test this out because obviously you have to test things out if you're going to see if they uh, they work. So uh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll quickly go and buy up these players that we need to buy up, and then we'll come back and show you the bronzes that each other will be using. Okay, guys, on the screens for you now are the completed teams. Uh, so you can see here that Jack has given me Big McSweeney up top, and then it's a return for good old Scott Lynch at right back. Go on, Jack, uh, who you got? I have got Thunstain in goal, and yep. Huntington... As my right centre back, um, mate. Also... He, is, he is Jamie McComb reincarnated. That guy. He is so <laughs> slow and so tall. <laughs> oh, he's fantastic. Um, he's also about thirty-five as well. Um, I have also Tom's let me change my right back Trent for Gomez. Trent's price range hasn't been updated, and he's like eighty-five thousand coins or something. Yeah. So basically, Trent is not worth eighty-five thousand coins. He's probably going to go down to like fifteen. 
K hey, yeah, I'd say max like that. maybe judging by some of the other 87s so obviously I don't want to lose 60, 65,000 because yeah, no one's buying him like Jack will just be stuck yeah. with him and for ages and ages and ages so yeah, it's only fair that mm-hmm. we do that. And it also means that he's got a worse player in that position, which is great for me. Um, yeah. Right, guys, what we'll do is we'll dive into the game and get this thing fired up. All right, we've made it to the arena. Best of luck, Jack. Good luck, my friend. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, oh, no. Fabi Anski. Oh, my Lord. Good lad. Good lad. All right. Bloody McSweeney's on the run. Ay, 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 not Freddy Jungberg. Ah. Oh. oh, my Lord. That looked closer than it actually was. Yeah, must be the angle. Hello. Oh. Oh, oh dived in. Coutinho. Get the... Oh. Go on, bend him up. Oh, oh, oh my goodness God, me. Save. This man with the flappy hands, he's done well. Oh, I can't believe I didn't get that. Or that. Oh my god, Huntington is just a. Vlahovic! Oh, Cooper! <laughs> not not what today, he mate. Doing, lad? He's going for goal. Ref, come on, lad. Come I thought on, you're turning lad. Onto, I thought you were turning to shoot there. <laughs> I don't actually know how to do these this year. Does anyone? No. <gasps> no! Love that, that happened. Love that. Oh, well done, lads. I mean, the fair keeper play, has had play. an absolute mare. But, you know, it's worked. Kostic. Kostic does what Kostic does. Kostic does exactly what Kostic does. Well done, lad. There's a bit of space. Oh! oh. McSweeney to Virginia! Oh, wow. And he puts it away. Bit of luck there. <sighs> That's a nightmare. That is not fun. Virginia again, mate. No, why didn't you? Oh. Well done, lad. I mean, I pressed ball roll and then pass, but it just did the pass. Jesus. Are three ever going to blow up? <laughs> All right, we make it to half time at 1 1. Um, been a little bit fortunate, to be honest. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, let's see what the second half holds. I see space. Oh, that's going to be offside. Surely sadly. that's offside. Oh my god. Oh. How is that not offside? Pardon? Excuse me? Uh, I'm pretty sure he's standing like three yards off. He is. I've the only thing I can think of is... Come off, come off the defender, but I, does that not still come under I don't know. Nowadays? I don't know. don't know. Oh, my God. No. Who's this? It's Costage again. Get him. Oh, my God. Boop. What? Boop. Oh, no. What are you doing? Oh my Come god! On, oh, man. Like, oh, has that not gone in? Oh, I've literally god. put in like three tackles. I was like, what is going on? And then you literally Jesus. got the best shot off and it's not gone in. Good block. Sergio. Oh, good oh save. Oh my god. Get that one out. Sweeney, he's got height, surely. Yeah, that's good. Now Vitinho's making a great run. Yeah, good. Oh, I tried to oh, back it in. I tried to do it. Holy moly. Oh, that's great. Oh. It's got to be a goal. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my Fabianski. God, man. He's on a mad one. The price or the beauty of having a gold goalkeeper. See space. Look at... Get it. Surely he's Keith. done it. Oh, my God. Bronze goalkeeper can't handle it. He's not quick enough off his line. What a dream. <laughs> Pretty decent, that is. Where are my players? Oh, I've been so unlucky, man. Yeah, I have, to be fair. I the goalkeeper, Fabianski, is coming absolute clutch today for me. It's McSweeney! The Joe Gomez! Where is he going? Can't move. Fabianski once again. I don't even... Do you know what? I'm going to just put the controller down when Jack's got the ball. Fabianski's got me. I've read it. No! Back Oh, and it's an awful goal. It's an awful goal. It's an awful day. I can't believe Jack has 
lost this for five three goals. It's just it's just so undeserved. Look at McSweeney. Oh my god, he can score! What? Okay, okay, uh, man. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Fabianski must be rocking like a 9.9 .9 rating or something. He was absolutely out of control. He literally saved everything. I think the biggest talking point, he actually only I got... 19 shots, mate. Yeah. I mean, I think the biggest talking point was that goal that was scored that was quite clearly offside. Was it the McSweeney goal here? Look, he's miles off. It's not even yeah. close. It's not even close. I feel bad. I feel like I'm only going to give you two discards, Jack, because he is genuinely... Look, no. guys. Look at that. Look at that. 19 shots, 13 uh, on target, and they're all in the box. <laughs> I mean... No, I'll, I'll take the three discards, mate. It is what it is. It's FIFA, okay. there, but... Um, yeah, true. But, uh, like, if you look here, there's McSweeney offside. The ball quite clearly comes off of Jota as the last touch going yeah. through. It's just because yeah. it was deflection, and I guess the coding is just simple, as per usual. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, unfortunately for Jack, it will be three. Let's go get at it. All right, Jack. It's a hard loss there. Um, are you ready to have your discards? Uh, yeah. Uh, three. Three, three, three. Uh, um, we will go, since it gave you so many problems, with your back three. So your two centre-backs and your goalie. Oh no. A... Well, um, you haven't got Salah, but you have got a decent chunk of coins. You've got Benzema and Mendy and Vlahovic. Ooh, about 125k, isn't it? Mm, and the rest. Uh, Benzema's 80k. Oh no, even Mendy's more. Mendy's 87. 167k. Whoa, holy smokes. That's like 2 million coins in a month's time. Thanks. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, All right. That's Bob Barrick. Sorry, mate. Oh, EA. EA. I dislike you. Right. I'll slap him into a gold upgrade then, mate. Here we are then, ladies and gentlemen. Vlahovic, Benzema and Mendy all in the SBC. We're doing an early access upgrade. And there we are. We'll submit it away. That's painful. That is what you call painful. That is. All right, well, guys, go show Jack some love over on his channel by checking him out. Link to him down in the description. We'll film another video over there. For your viewing pleasure, thank you very much for watching, as always. And, uh, yeah, until next time, see you next time. Peace.